Hello everyone, and welcome in for Atomic Heart. I had to get a new GPU just to play this game. Just kidding, it was, I just need a new one to be able to record and stream it. I could play with my old one, but couldn't record and stream it. Uh, OBS did not, could not encode it. My old one wasn't strong enough, so we got a new one. Even better. But yeah. I tried it before, it didn't work, now we can do it again. And this time it actually works. Let's just get to it. What do you have me rambling on about that? I've started a new game and we're going to Armageddon because I am a masochist. At least that's what my friends tell me. Or a friend told me. I don't have many friends. Yeah. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can I can talk to you, Glove. you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's <laughs> navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. Vovas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, he did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. <gasps> Comrade! 
athletes, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Ooh, that's how that works. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems, something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. <laughs> Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Slow Indeed down, it is. Son, slow down. Just gotta be the Palmer. Yeah, it's nice if we can't see feed it. 1936. Come on, checking out Just spells the polymer. A scientific miracle determines the future course of human civilization in Soviet Union abroad. Sheshinov's research team is assembled. 1937. A pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union. All of them outstanding scientists. Including a bunch of names I'm not going to be able to pronounce. So I don't want to try. Join forces forming a scientific group that lays foundations for astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. You fought in the war, Comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I, I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, what? <laughs> in picture the hydrogen cell, 1939. How much and... But I'm not even sure. Create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment on, the future Soviet robotics takes on global importance. The Brown Plague. The realize that his force and everyone's first rise strikes a terrible, shameful, inhumane blow against all of mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills to incredible speed there is no salvation from this monstrous pandemic. And existing drugs are powerless against it. Crispy 
Creation Facility 3826. A worldwide state-sponsored program of industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created, Facility 3826, the apex of scientific progress and the home of the greatest scientific scientists in the world. <clears throat> Collective 1.0, 1948. The Collective 1.0 neural network is successfully launched at Facility 3826, the world's first global network that brings together all of mankind's great achievements. First manned spaceflight, April 12, 1951. An unbelievable scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, I probably got that wrong, is the first man to fly into space. That's what our history. What did history get? I'm kind of going a little fast Comrades, boosted just because I played the section before. When all the planets we of the solar system. The I've got a question. Yes, comrade, how may I help? Get yourself a bug or your life. Well, what can you tell me about space? <laughs> That's quite a question. We could talk about it endlessly and still get nowhere. One thing is certain, though. The question, how should we live here on Earth, can only be answered out there. So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? A philosophical question. But if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon, we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. That's a funny way to use a belyash. Yeah, I was surprised too. Apparently, the MA-9 can use its polymer emitter to form an image-producing grid. In effect, this robot now doubles as a high-resolution video camera and projector. No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for ten minutes, and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You're being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. <laughs> Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course! Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule.
just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. For your Inquisition. information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Sinners! <laughs> Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitri Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the greatest events in the history of man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing and that will finally change the world as we know it. Report to the lobby of that high-rise, Comrade Major. No, I'm not exaggerating for you. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide so glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. You've been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. And finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Wait, do you just have this one giant room in an elevator? Why? <laughs> Why isn't all the rooms connected? I'm sure I don't like the fact the other way he doesn't have a door. All human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will know. It feels like it could be slightly dangerous at times. Loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Let me learn a foreign language in a minute. Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible by a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major.
Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? I like how the virtual activation code is just a key. I like how the end of the key is. Oh. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. As I try to say, I like how the, co the code was just a key, but I know the key, the end of the key is changing. But still. It's still just a key, it's not really code. I suppose it could be if it just uploads code. So, eh, who knows. Oh, you don't have to put it in there. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. I was going to say, how does the car get out of here? Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 yeah, with I parades just came from in every city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. <laughs> We're in the sky. <laughs> I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? 
How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. <laughs> Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Back to the sun, that they would have floating islands. I did not get an impression from the start. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The Trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Your Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? Your safety, what the? Please do not unfasten oh, your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Yeah, I don't think we've come to a complete stop yet. <laughs> you have reached your destination. You are now at the Oratory Gate of the Babylon College of Facilities. 
Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on the subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? I didn't take long fall. <laughs> oh, I'll make loose. What's that blob doing? Killing me. Ugh. We just said you just taken a couple of falls there. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Are you just swimming through that? The hell? Oh. Exactly. Sechenov. The <laughs> so weird. Exactly. Session of out. I see you dodge. The hell? What did I just get hit by?
show me Scanny like non stop. What Holy the hell? Shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Help hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Shit! Uh, get away from me! Looking at, almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. No, oh, I didn't Save see that. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me, Zena, Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! Basically. It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Wow. Renny is badass. Uh, shit. <laughs> Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! You hang on to that key. I got this. <laughs> um. Holy shit! Oh no, Granny. Why would he kind of come up behind? Holding it. Oh. What a goddamn clusterfuck. to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. 
He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Victor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Welcome to the Vavilov Complex, named after the great Soviet botanist. The Vavilov Complex is a leading scientific institution dedicated to the study of the Earth's flora. This area of expertise makes the Vavilov Complex central to the exploration and colonization of other planets in the solar system. It is here that our greatest scientists are producing new plants designed to thrive in extraterrestrial soils. This momentous task is made possible by the use of advanced breeder methods, coupled with a highly developed system of bio-isolation. Why is it up here? Put a pocket watch. They can hear you. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in. Hey, who's there? <sighs> they found me. Stay away. I've got a grenade. Hey, lady. This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Wait, were they digging out or digging in? I can't tell. Jets, this structure in that tunnel. We must be digging in, right? There's no reason to dig out. Turn the handle and open the door! 